obviously a bit of a strange situation that happened last week. Um, as I said at the time, totally caught by surprise. I was actually looking at the steering wheel, making a switch change in the straight, which you know we all do across the lap. And when I looked up, I was in Fernando's gearbox, and it was sort of too late. And then next thing, I know that I'm in the in the wall. So um, if it were not to have been penalised, it would have really opened a can of worms for the rest of the season, um, and in junior categories, of saying, you know, are you allowed to break in a straight? Uh, are you allowed to slow down, change gear, accelerate, do something semi-erratic? Um, you know, I don't take anything personally with what happened with, with Fernando. Um, and it probably had bigger consequences than it should have. Uh, but as I said, if, if it went unpenalised, you know, can you just break in the middle of a straight? I don't know. So, yeah, nothing more to say, really. Fernando, you say you have to accept the decision. Does that mean that you accept that you drove in a way that was potentially dangerous? Ah, not at all. I mean, I'm, I'm totally uh, against, you know, what, what was uh, the outcome of uh, the decisions, but uh, they have the power to, to do uh, and, and to decide, and, you know, we have to accept it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised and, and totally disagree for sure. So that means you have to accept that uh, they're taking tools away from you in, in that respect, your ability to defend, to choose your breaking point, to choose your line? Well, I think it was one-off. It will never be repeated the same. And I think we will never see a, a decision like in Australia ever again. So I accept it. I take it. Uh, I had few of those, many, too many of those in, in my career. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, or at least no one else is, is having this, this kind of uh, outcomes, so I take it. The other drivers have said it's going to be discussed uh, this weekend in the, in the driver's briefing. What do you expect to, to come out of that? A bit more clarity from, from the FIA over what is and, and isn't allowable? I guess so. Obviously, they will, they will try to explain and, uh, and to have some guidelines for, for all of us, but... Uh, I think it will be difficult to agree. We are all 20 drivers. We have all different, 20 different opinions probably, and but they have the uh, the power to to decide, and uh, we have to accept it. And uh, there is nothing we can do. And uh, you know, it's no point, obviously, also to go back and and to to discuss too too many things. So we move on, and um, and yeah, hopefully we are a little bit more far apart the cars here. Well, I think first of all. We Things are going to be discussed for sure in the driver's briefing, you know, by tomorrow night. It's going to be interesting, you know, to have uh, the understanding from the FIA, the words from uh, obviously Fernando and George uh, on that. But uh, yeah, as you said, it's not for me to comment. I wasn't really there uh, at the time. I didn't see any data. I don't have the info and I didn't see the wording that uh, you also said. So, you know, I'm very limited on the info, but that's why I'm, yeah, I only saw the onboards um, and, uh, and the crash, which was actually very uh, scary when I saw you know George uh, upside down um, so uh, yeah it is I think what we need to consider is that corner that corner is quite you know uh, something else um, you know you arrive at 250 kph mid corner and uh, you don't really see the exit we've seen some close calls uh, over the years and uh, probably needs to be rethink for the future. Uh, Fernando and, uh, and George uh, the incident there and the, the ruling from the, the FIA any thoughts on on that and, and what you can or can't do? Um, should be a penalty, that's all I say. That corner needs to be reviewed, which is already something I said in last driver's briefing, but it's not the first time that after a collision, the car comes back into the truck and it's a corner that we're doing 250 k kph and it's blind. And I just don't like the, the last few incidents that we've seen in this corner, also in other categories. It just doesn't give me a very good feeling. It's a great corner, don't get me wrong. I, I love driving it in, in a qualifying lap, it's just, when it comes to racing, there's been just too many examples of a car coming back onto the track and being very narrow there. And I just think it's a corner we need to, that needs to be a bit reviewed. Uh, yeah, we'll discuss it in the driver's briefing.